New developments this morning. A third arrest has been made in connection to last week's shooting where eight teens were injured at a bus stop in Burlholm. And this morning, the manhunt continues for the fourth suspect. U.S. Marshals say they've, been, they've identified him and he now has just hours to turn himself in. PHL 17's Alyssa Cristelli joins us live from outside police headquarters. Alyssa, a lot of details here to break down. Yeah, Jimmy and Monica, a lot has happened in the last 24 hours, and U.S. Marshals tell me they have arrested a third suspect, 19-year-old Jermad Carter. They say when they surrounded his family's home that he seemed surprised, but at this point, they continue to search for that fourth suspect, and they say they know who he is, they've given him an ultimatum, and now the clock is ticking for him to turn himself in. But we want to get to this video right now, the moment that U.S. Marshals arrested 19 year old Jermad Carter, bringing him into custody yesterday at around 3.30 p.m. in the 12,000 block of Academy Road inside a family member's home. Police say Carter is now facing charges for his role in last week's mass shooting in Burholm, where eight high school students were injured at a SEPTA bus stop. We surrounded the house and um, we got cooperation and he came out without incident. I, I think he was relatively surprised and you know that's good for us. We want to catch people by surprise. Now, Carter was suspect number three, but this comes after Philadelphia police officially charged the first two suspects yesterday in connection with the shooting. Now, 18-year-old Jamal Tucker and 18-year-old Anili Bugs were charged with attempted murder, among other charges. But now court documents show that Bugs called an inmate at the Pine Grove State Correctional Institution just a day after the mass shooting that happened in Burholm. Now, authorities believe they discussed the SEPTA shooting that happened in Ogons last week. Now, this comes after police have continued to investigate the possibility that the mass shooting near Rising Sun and Cotman Avenues could be connected to the shooting on March 4th that killed 17 year old Damien Taylor. But this morning, marshals say the fourth suspect in the mass shooting, a 17 year old, is still on the run. We made an arrest attempt. We made contact with family members and we gave them the ultimatum. Turn your son in by tomorrow morning. If he does not turn himself in, we, we will be releasing his identity to the city of Philadelphia and most likely offering a reward from the U.S. Marshal Service. So that suspect has just hours now at this point, so we could have an update very soon. And Clark also said that he did tell that family if he does not turn himself in, they will pour every available resource into aggressively pursuing him. I'll send it back to you guys. All right, thank you so much, Alyssa.